everyone, and welcome to Fridays on the Gender Queer Gang. So, I'm really sorry I missed the last couple weeks. I don't believe in excuses, but if I had to give you one, it would be that work was just a little bit too busy for me to be able to get around uh, to posting after I took care of everything in real life. Um, and I'm sorry for the air quotes. I kind of wanted to go back, though, on a topic that I missed, which was, what was your defining moment? For me, it wasn't as much the breakdown of my coming out that I had a few months ago, but rather a breakdown that I had a few years ago, which is when I was diagnosed with severe depression. It's something that uh, I kind of carried with me ever since I was 12 years old. It's something I had been able to manage up, at, uh, up until that point. Um, and what happened was I had some pretty horrific things happen to me uh, between the ages of 12 and 17. I kind of tried to handle it on my own. I wasn't really able to. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I might make a video explaining that on my personal channel eventually. It's not something I want to get into right now, though. Um, but yeah, so I spent a few years after that thinking that I was fine. I'd gotten over with. I kind of just put that in a box and locked it away. I never really actually dealt with uh, what happened to me and how I was feeling about all of it. And uh, fast forward a few years, I go to a convention for five days. I get home and keep in mind I was in university at that point. I get home, I'm really, really tired, I decide to take the next day off um, just to try and catch up on like jet lag and everything. I never get out of bed. I stayed in bed for about three weeks. My boyfriend at the time was going absolutely nuts. I was going nuts because the way my bedroom was configured the bed was right in front of where our closet was and it was only about like 20 steps between the two and I remember sitting on the edge of that bed unable to get up and get dressed in the morning and I had major meltdowns nearly every single day I only got up honestly to the go to the bathroom I didn't eat I barely even went online. All I did was sleep, cry, sleep, cry, sleep. And then one day, I found myself contemplating suicide. And I had a split second of what the fuck are you doing? Get out of here and get help. So I did. I went to therapy dropped out of school because at that point I missed so many classes there was no way I was gonna catch uh, up with all the work that I had. Uh, the following year I applied to college, went to work with horses because I wanted to stay away from drugs as much as I possibly could and my therapist said that something in me clicked when I thought talked about horses and so she suggested I went out to try and you know a trail ride or something and come back on the Monday with updates and I came back the following Monday as if I had been given a new life so I went to college uh, got my course uh, for working with horses worked with horses the following year and here we are now. It's been, you know, a year since I've worked with horses and have been in university, but I'm doing much, much, much better. But it was kind of the low point in my life where I was like, you know what? 
I can't do this all by myself. And I can't keep going the way that I was going. I was literally using up all of that extra energy trying to keep those thoughts in a little box hidden away. Which is why I'm, I think, is kind of a blessing in disguise because when I had my breakdown about coming out as being trans, it wasn't as much of a hard thing to deal with because I kept telling myself, like, don't do the same thing again and then six years down the road you have a an even bigger mental breakdown because you just kept it inside and hidden away. And that's how I came out. I decided not to keep these feelings repressed anymore because eventually I was going to blow up so I might as well just blow up when they, you know, arrive. Uh, and yeah, so my defining moment would have been probably the worst moment of my life but still a defining moment. I mean, I wouldn't say it was all negative. I have grown so, so much from going through experiences like that. Um, but it, it definitely it does change you. And I think moral of the story is, if you're going through something, reach out. I could care less if the person you reach out to is someone you know personally, is someone online, is a community, find someone to talk to. It will alleviate, at least temporarily, a lot of stress for you. And who knows, you might uh, find answers to uh, the questions that you've been asking just by rambling to someone, even if you don't know them. With that said, everyone, I think I've rambled on enough, and I hope to see you all next week. Bye.